what's going on guys welcome to another video today we're at formula drift atlanta now this is an event you cannot miss and even with my little bit of back pain right now i had to come so i have my backpack on right now with a camera in it i'm probably not going to use it i'm probably going to put this thing down because it's probably going to start hurting my back i just got here but um i'm here to show you the experience of formula drift i'm not going to show you as much drifting um by the time i put this video out the event will already be happening and you've already seen the live feed and you've seen the results and highlights and stuff so you're going to see the drifting before this so today i'm actually doing something different i'm gonna show you guys more of the experience of formula drift and why it's cool to actually be there not just watch online so there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes they don't start showing you know top 32 or top 16 at like five o'clock but it's uh 12 o'clock and there's already stuff going on there's actually a track day because we are road atlanta so i'm gonna show you some of the track stuff and then we'll go out of the paddock and check some of that stuff out and right here is a huge car show so right now we're gonna start here and i'm gonna walk through and try to show you some of the cool cars i'm not gonna show you all the cars because it's way too much and but i'm gonna try to show you the ones that really stand out and um definitely deserve a little bit of recognition so let's go check out the car show and then we'll find out what we'll do after that and starting here this is the first thing that looks absolutely insane to me this 135 polished turbo jesus christ v88 wheels bbs is oh sorry these wheels are expensive if you can find them they're like four or five grand sometimes six <laughs> you're good you're good we're both looking this thing is crazy the car seats this thing is sick this thing is so sick it's also very windy so hopefully there's not a lot of wind noise i'll try to cover the camera best i can without muting everything but i want to look at this 86 right here too Beans. I think it's probably a riot. There's some classic 90s modifications right here. <laughs> this is straight Fast and Furious right here. Here's the back of a prelude being trailered by a prelude. A custom made trailer. I wouldn't ride in it, but it's dope. What's going on? And it is a uh, four wheel steering one, so I've actually seen him turn the wheel, and that wheel goes that way, and the back wheel goes that way. It looks crazy. It's also boosted. This thing is perfect, but I'm biased. But it's on very rare Alpina wheels. They're super sick. And here's the nicest car at the show. This uh, yellow E93 M3 on BBSs. This car is dope. I don't know who I'm. Oh, that's my car. My bad, I forgot. I'm up here at Southern Fresh Boots. I always repping Southern Fresh. And uh, they got more JDM cars down there. We're gonna look at, and then there's the Rays booth. The Rays booth has their own section. I just noticed that's an E92. Haha. <laughs> So this show is actually put on by Tuning365 and Rays. And Rays Wheels has their own section. So everybody over here is all on Rays Wheels.
Here's a crazy R35 on a full Varus kit. This thing is insane. Of course raised because we're in the raised section. But I don't know. I don't know how much power it makes. I imagine it's full bolt on the 85. So at least 640. Well it says alpha. So probably closer to 800 to 1000. MK5 Supra. I admit I didn't like them at first and they grew on me. They are pretty sick now. Of course when you start putting body kits and wheels on them they're going to look way better. I didn't like it when they first came out. That's my opinion. But they're pretty sick now. And now they're coming out with 6 speed. Now I'm actually going to really like them. Raise, raise, raise and more raise. Like I said it's a lot of cars. I cannot capture all these cars. So this is about to be pretty much there's a Supra. Another Supra. This Z is sick, S15, M3, R32, and even this little mini truck. Little, what do they call K trucks? That Jimmy L truck here? <laughs> a little mini raise. Those are cute, bruh. They probably cost more than my wheels, too. This is sick. This will be so useful to move stuff around. It's a perfect car. All right, that is enough for the car show. Now we're actually going to walk down to the paddock. Emphasis on walk down because it is a very steep downhill. And it sucks even more coming back up. So usually coming back up, I try to find you know a friend with a golf cart. You can rent golf carts, but they're super expensive. And I'm not renting one for myself. And they're probably sold out by now. You have to get that like 9 in the morning. So let's go look at the paddock and look at all the drift cars up closely. Stuff you don't see on the street. All right, we are now down in the paddock. As you can see, it is a madhouse down here. This is where you see all the drift cars up close under their own booths. There's a whole bunch of random stuff for sale. They're doing giveaways and keychains and all, all types of stuff. So there's a whole bunch of stuff. So let's look around and see what's cool around here and get some close-ups on uh, some awesome builds. So this is a very sick build. It's an E30 wagon with a 1J in it. And funny story, I was actually supposed to drive this car for giving him keys, but the, when I got there, it started raining. And after that, he actually sold the car. So I don't know who the new owner is. Maybe the new owner will let me drive it, but he sold it. It was expensive. It was like 30 grand. I mean, there's a lot of work into it. It's a beautiful car. Makes like 500 wheel on, on E85. And I mean, you can't see in there, but the car's super sick. It's super clean. Sorry about that. And... I'm hoping I get redemption and drive this car because I do want to see how this car feels because this thing is insane. Bridge Moto has their booth up here. That's why I have my helmet and I got gloves. And I'll probably get, I got their jacket too. That jacket right there, that fire one, you know what I'm talking about. And then I'll probably get like harnesses and stuff later. But Bridge Moto, I definitely love this company. They're local, Georgia locals, and I represent them pretty hard. Steering wheels too. Look at that. I already got a wheel, but. In the future, I might need another one. Damn, should I do the shoes too? Ooh. If this Mustang police officer is chasing you, you're probably not going to get away. <laughs> that is sick. Oh, Lord. E36. That is a sick kit. Damn. This is dope track build of course this is sick this is perfect this is perfect I like this here's drift HQ and Adam LZ pretty crazy stuff over here and the drift HQ F80 See it on YouTube all the time. Never seen it in person. It's pretty dope. And this thing is obviously beautiful. Jesus Christ, dude. $10,000 wheels. <laughs> Damn. All right, y'all. I was having a good time, and then all of a sudden, just Steve just popped up. Steve about to make the video. Steve, 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 Steve always got to ruin the day, man. It's my next car right here. I don't win the raffle. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to win it too, so we both going to have it. We'll split it in two. All right, right we can do that. We can do that. I just need the weekends. That's it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I get days to end with Y, and you get everywhere else. <laughs> yeah. 
So I just saw the GR Corolla for the first time in person. It was actually pretty sick. And um, it was hard to get some good video because there was a crowd around it. A lot of people want to check it out too. And But I did manage to get a couple shots and that is a pretty sick looking car. This is another cool thing to see in person. The amount of tires they bring and go through at an event. It is insane. That's a lot of meats. Oh uh, yes, Roman Carpentier, one of my favorite drivers, obviously because it's an E36. And it's funny that this is actually his first E36. This is his first drift car, just like my E36 is my first drift car. So I'm just saying, it's possible Roxanne could be in Formula One one day. You never know. <laughs> and here is Federico's Ferrari. Of course, obviously going to have a huge crowd around it. This thing is insane. Like I said, man, you don't get to see all this stuff like on on the live feed. You get to see this thing in person and close. It's crazy. This thing is insane, dude. <laughs> Alright, and this is super exciting to see. The 400Z. Not only is there a, a stock 400Z here, but there's also the drift 400Z that's actually in Formula D. So, I've actually seen that first. I haven't seen it in person. It's the first time I've seen it in person. But to see both of these cars in person is pretty dope. So I get to see a brand new car right now. <laughs> these cars look really sick in person. And I gotta, I gotta say, what would you guys pick since they're both coming out? They're both new. Would you take the GR Corolla or the new Z? Personally, I'm taking the new Z. I think the Z looks really sick. I like the way it flows. And I would slam one on its nuts in a heartbeat. Getting up close and personal with some more. There's the MK5 Super with like a full Kevlar carbon kit. This thing is insane. Jesus. <laughs> and you got a wild E46 over here. This thing is sick on them chrome. Boy, them thing chrome, boy. Woo! Check it out, Now over here with the uh, Sorensons. They're uh, their brother and sister. They both drift. They're both super young. I think they're 17 and 18. And actually, looking at the cars, they're kind of hard to tell, but I actually did ask because they looked a little off. They're actually E46 chassis. They are not F80s or F82s. They are E46 chassis with like F80 fronts and rear. So that's pretty cool. So E46 is still out here doing their thing. And here's Taylor Hole's car. Finally retired the Cadillac and went to the Corvette. Not mad. This is still pretty sick. Woo! Lord have mercy. Need y'all do me a favor, man. Right now, I need y'all stop what you're doing. Do me a favor, man. Go hit that like button, man, so I can get us on this level, man. I need some money, man. God, I didn't do that. Come on, man. Put me, put me right there, man. Hit that like button so I can get up here. Roxanne, 2028, please. starts to get in line to go to the track so if you can't hear me talking right now it's because all the drift cars are started up right now they're all in line this is cool it's time to take pictures so i'm only doing video today because i can't bend down too far but it is awesome
All right, and that's going to do it for the paddock. Um, there's a lot more stuff, but I can't film everything. And my back is starting to hurt, so I need to go lay down somewhere. So um, I'm going to go up there, find a place to sit, enjoy the show, and, uh, you know, just hang out with some friends and drink and stuff like that. So let's go find a new home. Caught a ride. Thank God. So if you can't hear that, it is now three o'clock and they are doing practice runs. That thing is so loud. Way over there. And that's how loud that car is. <laughs> In your chest. So they're doing practice runs right now. The event doesn't start till about 5.15, 5.30, something like that. But they do a couple hours worth of practice and it's fun watching practice too. Sometimes they'll go by themselves. Sometimes they do practice tandems and it's just, it's fun. Like I said, it's a lot of drifting. It's a lot of drifting. So as far as what side you want to watch from, there's plenty of options. You can watch from both sides. You, as you can see, is a huge crowd way up here. Sometimes I'll sit in that area. Sometimes I'll sit over there. Sometimes I'll sit right here on this side of the track. So anyways, the track's right there in the middle. Um, you see some people just sit on top of golf cars. That's global tires right there. Some of the employees, you know, I go to global and do all my tires and stuff there. And yeah, there's a bunch of, bunch of people scattered all over the place. What's going on? All right. So if you can make it to the gate, you're right up here with uh, media. That's media right there. Hey, Pete. Oh, shit. Ah! I saw you <laughs> What's going on? Are you are you vlogging? I am. Oh, do you see yourself right now? I do see myself. <laughs> hey, listen. Like, comment, subscribe <laughs> to Divine Media. Not. To <laughs> <laughs> not Alright guys, well that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys are entertained enough. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to really focus too much filming the drifting because you guys have already seen it. And I just wanted to make this video to show you more behind the scenes and stuff that uh, you can actually see when you actually go to an event. So if there's an event coming up in your city, try to go to it. If not, next year. Next year you can go because it's, it's a lot of fun. I never miss it. I go every single year and I'm going to keep going every year. So I'm going to go put my cameras back in the car, put some alcohol on my body, and I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces.